What's up, guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Price Books with a new book by DC that uh, has one of, you know, one of the closest and dearest characters to my heart. We're looking at Robin, the Tim Drake Compendium 1. Now, if you're a Batman fan, then you know uh, Tim Drake is the second or the third iteration of Robin. Of course, you got the Golden Boy, Dick Grayson, coming in as probably one of the most uh, charismatic and legacy characters of all of DC. And then, of course, you got the anger of Jason Todd. And then, of course, the tragedy of him being killed by the Joker. And then, of course, came in Tim Drake, who figured out Bruce's identity uh, without, uh, you know, he, he, he was able to deduce it himself. So, you know, each of the Robins, I think, brings something uh, special to the dynamic duo. Dick, of course, was the acrobat. Jason was the, uh, I would say, like the anger, the attitude, and Tim, I think, is the brains. Damien, of course, is a little bit of everything, but yeah, definitely dangerous. But Tim, to me, is, is the one who, I would say, is the best detective of all of them, uh, who was going to take that role of detective, you know, from, from Batman's, you know, uh, the Batman thing, like, he takes that detective aspect uh, more than the other ones. Uh, so I always thought Tim Drake was was a really good Robin, and uh, you know he had a lot to live up to, and I think he definitely uh, portrayed a Robin in a different style that than than we've seen before. So let me show you this book. Here is the front, spine, and the back. Very cool, and I always liked his costume as well. It was very it was different. The short sleeve definitely more more. Uh, uh, not high tech, I would say. It was more like uh, modern. Yeah, more modern, I would say. Uh, so it's really cool. There's some designs in here of, of unused costume for him. That's really cool to see the process that they were going through with, with making his costume. So it's cool to see that. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into uh, Robin, the Tim Drake Compendium 1, and see what's inside. <laughs> Guys, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at Robin Tim Drake Compendium Volume 1. And then, of course, uh, you know, this is... If you've bought in compendiums from DC recently, you have this, like, semi-matte, semi-gloss matte. Um, that's all right. Thank you so much for anybody who worked on this book, any creators, any, any contributors to it. We appreciate you guys for the work that's done and for the characters, you know, that you uh, so loved so much. But uh, yeah, like I said, uh, these these would be great. This would be great as a hardcover. Don't give me don't you don't have to make it an omnibus. Just make it a hardcover. I would I would love that. Um, you know, but pages are looks like numbered throughout, which is great. Uh, this comes in at 11, 1103 pages, so it's it's a pretty good size. And yeah, you know, Tim Drake. I think he's. Uh, I know each each of the Robins is a little bit different, and and it contributes to the. Uh, you know, the whole mythos of Batman. Tim Drake, to me, was always the better detective just because he was able to figure out Batman's identity. Uh, you know, Jason Todd stole the tires. Uh, Tim Drake, or Dick Grayson, of course, was the acrobat. But Tim Drake, to me, uh, was always the best detective. Like, he figured, he was definitely more scientific. He was a decent fighter, but he was definitely the, I would say, from the three of them, probably, like, the smartest of them. Let me tell you a little bit about this book. A Robin is born. After discovering Batman's secret identity, Tim Drake has been accepted by the Dark Knight as his new partner in crime fighting. He must now endure months of intensive training on the path to publicly deb debuting as the Cape Crusader's new partner. Given an all-new high-tech costume and the encouragement of Nightwing, the former Robin, Tim is ready to finally uh, Tim is finally ready to don the identity he was born for. Presenting Tim Drake's first adventures, Robin Tim Drake Compendium 1 collects Batman number 455 through 457, 465 through 469, 480, Detective Comics 618, 621, Robin Volume 1, 1 through 5, Robin 2, The Joker's Wild, 1 through 4, Robin 3, Cry the Huntress, number 1 through 6, Robin Volume 2, number 1 through 5, 
uh, the, the, the Robin Annual, number one and two, Superman, volume two, number 70, Superman, the Man of Steel, number 14, and stories from Batman, 80 page giant, number two, and showcase 93, number one through six, number 11 through 12, from writers Chuck Dixon and Alan Grant. Artists Tom Lyle and Norm Brayfogle, and many more. Very cool. So, like I said, if, if, if uh, that to me, it's, it's, I think he's definitely more of the brainy of the t Robins that have been a part of, part, uh, part of the sidekicks of Batman. But let me know what you think of him, uh, where you would put him as your favorite Robins. Uh, right now, um, my golden boy, of course, is always Dick Grayson. Uh, Tim Drake was was second, but Damien actually kind of to me has has proven himself to be a really good Robin. But yeah, uh, Tim Drake has always been really cool. Uh, I think he's he's a great Robin, uh, and of course when he became his own Red Robin later on, I think he would do great as as you know having his own identity as a different hero, just like Nightwing, you know made his his own path. Red Robin sh or Robin should also have his own thing in in newer. DC stuff. That's just my two cents. Uh, let's see if this book has any extras. Uh, okay, looks like it does. Well, a little bit. A little bit. Let me show you here. Okay. Yeah, you get a little bit of the covers right here, as you can see right there. Very nice. Neil Adams, Dick Giordano, very cool. Kelly Jones, like that. Mmm, Tom Lyle, very cool. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure Batman probably had a lot of uh, reservations on having a Robin after Jason Todd died. Uh, so, you know, I like how they're definitely portraying that relationship uh, that, Joker's, that Joker has with Robins, especially after killing Jason Todd. So, very cool to see, you know, that continue on with, with any Robins that come up. Neil Adams doing this one, very cool. Oh, different designs, okay. Kind of like a play on Batman's black and yellow. Very cool. Unused Robin costume designs, okay. This one looks more like a knight. You can see like his, his legs are more armored. A bandana here, definitely part of that 90s style, you know, like gorilla fighter almost like that. This one with, uh, with it's almost like the same style just with more color instead of like the black and white, black and red. This looks more like the Red Robin design after he, you know, in the New 52. This is too much like Superboy, you know, with the, with the vest. Da uh, Damien, of course, taking the hood uh, later on whenever he came back. And final Batman and Robin design, very cool. There you go, guys. So that is Robin Tim Drake Compendium 1. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think of Tim Drake. Check it out. I got to press books, guys, and I will see you in the next one.